Good intentions mean nothing. Nada, nalt, zilch, zip, zippo, zero, diddly squat, nihility. In other words, in real life, it's not the thought that counts. How about a few examples? If I were to go home right now and tell my wife how badly I wanted to buy her special chocolates from our favorite chocolate shop, how much would that mean to her? Not much. If I told my dad that I had every intention of buying him a birthday present this year, but never bought him one, how special would he feel? If I told you that I'm so thankful that you picked up a copy of Intentional Christian, that I really meant to leave a $10 bill in the back of every book, would you care? No. Would you feel like I was as thankful as I said I was? No. In fact, you might feel cheated and get mad at me. Why? Because the best intentions are just what the dictionary says they are, things intended. The Bible is full of common callings about dealing with our own sins, looking after orphans and widows, welcoming immigrants, providing for the poor and needy, and seeking justice for those who have been taken advantage of. We can have the best intentions for how we want to help each of these groups of people. But until we actually do something, our intentions mean nothing.